Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Epic today as Microsoft finally had their Windows 10 devices uh, meeting or conference, whatever you want to call it. Loads of different products. There was the Microsoft Band, we don't really care. HoloLens was kind of amazing, but they said like it'll use every room of your house and I instantly thought, my house is no good for gaming, it's gonna be kind of terrible. HoloLens is a great idea, so I'm willing to see where that's gonna go. The new Lumia phones, the phones themselves, not super exciting, but they run Windows and being able to um, hook your phone up to a docking station and be able to use like two different screens almost like having two separate devices using Windows 10 Continuum. That was really, really impressive. This is why we're really here today. Surface Pro. Surface Pro or the new device, uh, Surface Book. This is just, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. Basically, they were talking about Surface Pro. They're like, Surface Pro 4, you want to talk about Surface Pro 4? And they were being all kind of like hip hop about it. Surface Pro 4 looks amazing. It is I think it's thinner than it was before. It's actually the exact same size, uh, physically, I think the same exact size as the Surface Pro 3. But they've actually reduced the bezel, which means you now have a 12.3 inch screen. If I get the figures uh, wrong, it's because the, the conference, the, the meeting just happened, so I don't actually remember all of it. They've reduced the bezel so you have a bigger screen, but less, uh, the device is actually the same size. Looks amazing, probably for me, and I did make this in my video yesterday. I was saying, Microsoft needs to fix this. This is my bamboo wham, uh, bamboo whack, bam bam, the Wacom bamboo uh, feel pen. And this pen is perfect for the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 2, but you can't use it on the Surface Pro 3. That was a real shame because the lack of uh, pressure sensitivity on the new model was just not so good. Then they decided in today's conference to say that Surface Pro 4 will be using a newly designed pen which has 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity and that is just excellent excellent news. Now we don't know what kind of quality this pen will be, we do not know at all whether it will compare to this, this is an actual Wacom Cintiq Pro pen. These things are very difficult to compete with because they are so, so good. Now, I don't have a, a Cintiq Companion, which is a complete computer in itself, but I do have this, which is a Cintiq. This is just a monitor, but you can see how ridiculous this is. To, to, to use this mobile, you've got to bring this ridiculous stand around with you. It does fold flat, I'm just dropping everything now. It does fold flat on the back of the um, tablet, uh, but essentially this is quite a large device for what only has a 13.3 inch screen. Surface, decided not only to release Surface Pro 4, but Surface Book, and that is a laptop that looks like this, but this is a bit thicker. And it looks, it just looks like a normal laptop. It actually opens like, like this. You don't need the kickstand with Surface Book because it's strong enough to just hold itself up like a laptop. It's super fast, it's got a big screen. It's like 13 and a half inch screen, which means that it is taking on directly iPad Pro in terms of size. Wow, is it going to blow the iPad Pro out of the water because, because uh, it, you, it's, it's just got all this extra GPU power plus an entire Windows 10 operating system. iPad Pro, look, I want to be excited about that. I really want to be excited about iPad Pro, but it will only run iOS and that is going to be the main problem for the iPad Pro. Whereas Surface Book, which will open like a laptop, and you'll be able to use it like a laptop and you will not need a kickstand to be able to keep it balanced. Then, when you want to go mobile with it, you can actually take it apart just like a Surface Pro 4. The only thing that will happen is you will lose out on the GPU uh, performance. You won't be able to do quite as intensive things with 3D, per se, but you will be in what I think they call it uh, canvas mode. No, no, clipboard mode. They've got clipboard mode will be when you use your device like this. You also have canvas mode. You can actually click it back onto the keyboard now, and we can do this with Surface Pro, but this is Remember, this is a, a proper keyboard with hardware inside. It uses something, I can't even remember the name of the clip, it's got some sort of, it's called like the muscle power uh, clamp. I actually have no idea what it's called. You'll be able to put it back on, and I think you'll be able to utilize the GPU. So you'll be in this mode, so it's a bit like one of those, I think it's like the, tra the Asus Transformer book. You'll actually be able to hook it on like this, but it will take advantage of all the extra power coming from the device. 
So what you've got is a 13 and a half inch screen with a device which is significantly smaller than a Cintiq Companion. Look, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to emphasize how big this is. This thing is humongous. Okay, if you're a professional artist, not a big deal. Bringing around this, bring this around to a cafe. People don't mind if they're pro doing proper artwork. Problem was the sound, the most recent one, the Cintiq Companion 2, the fans were really loud, battery life a little bit uh, weak, let's be, be honest, three to four hours of 3D work. If what Microsoft is saying is true about the Surface Book, um, the Skylake processors, which were confirmed for um, Surface Book, Will massively help them on battery life. I think they said it has something like a like a 12 hour battery life. He showed us a running demo of you know being able to edit Premiere Pro. You could he actually added transitions in to the um, the edit without having to actually pause any of the video at all, and it rendered them smoothly on the go. That's really really impressive stuff. Really, which one do you want to go for? Because Surface Pro 4 or Surface Book are massively different uh, in price as well. Surface Pro 4, as I understand it, will be starting at $899, that's US dollars. A Surface Book, which is more or less the exact same device, but minus the kickstand, let's face it, but much faster, and also uses the pen, so basically has all the benefits of the Surface Pro. That will be going for $1499, so that's $1,500 compared to $900, uh, and that's for the lowest model. That's quite a big price difference. I, in my, in my own mind, uh, I think that kind of price difference means, it, you know, for that much performance increase, to be able to do video editing, to be able to do 3D work, to be able to do design work on it, to have that same flexibility, to be able to have a thin device that you can carry around in your lap, basically. If you want to be sitting on a train and you need to do some sketch work or you're just suddenly inspired by something you've seen, it's light enough that you could do it. I wouldn't want to do that with a Cintiq Companion, it's just too big, I, I wouldn't have it in my bag at the moment that I felt the inspiration to draw something. Surface Book, small enough to go in a bag, Surface Pro 4, probably a very similar size, but just less on performance and also a lower price. Something I do want to think about as well though is this pen. But how much are they making up that the new Surface Pro 4 pen is actually as good as, good as they say? Just the numbers, you know, 1024 pressure levels of sensitivity, that doesn't always tell us about the initial starting pressure, and I made, I mentioned this in my previous video, that initial pressure that you need to make that first stroke, that's incredibly important because if you have to put lots of pressure and then suddenly it makes a line, even if you change the the uh, curve, how affected it is by pressure sensitivity, it is difficult to get it right. I have tried on a Surface Pro 3, I've tried on a Surface 3 and I wasn't able to get it quite right. If the pen is as good as they are saying it's going to be, Surface Pro 4 or Surface Book are both going to be excellent products. There is one bit in the demo where he's just holding, he's just holding a Surface Book like this in his hands, and he goes, "Yeah, so I've just got a 3D model of a T-Rex here," and he just starts drawing scales or scales or you know whatever it is that he spikes onto the back of this T-Rex. I don't even know if T-Rex has a spike. He starts just drawing them on in 3D with this with this pen and this device, which is light, which he's just holding in his hands, and it's just like. That is very, very impressive. And this is all before we start talking about gaming. He said that it's not real, and I keep saying he, it's this guy, Panos Penny. I think he's in charge of the whole devices division of Windows now. It's not designed for gamers, but wow, it has Nvidia GeForce graphics in it. It's got DDR5 uh, RAM. I just love that by simply clicking the Surface Book keyboard, back on, you actually get more power. That's something that you don't get with the Surface Pro 4, all these new new processors. It's got, uh, well, Surface Book is gonna have the extra GPU power, the better pen, size is gonna be perfect. They've gone, to, they've stayed with the three by two aspect ratio, which is perfect if you're holding it in, uh, in vertical and portrait. Surface Pro 2, <laughs> 16 by nine or 16 by 10. I never remember what the actual aspect ratio was. It's not good for drawing. This is a Cintiq, uh, not Cintiq Companion, but Cintiq Companion is the exact same size as this, and wow, 
Drawing in 16 by 9 doesn't work. It's just wrong. It just feels very, very bad. If I had to choose right now, and this is going by the prices as well, I would pass on the Cinti Companion. If they create a Cinti Companion 3, it has a better aspect ratio and it has unparalleled performance for artists, sure, I'll go for the Cinti Companion. But right now I'm thinking if it's iPad Pro or Surface Book, uh, Surface Pro or Surface Book, it's gonna be the Surface Book. If money is tight, Surface Pro 4 is clearly going to be sufficient. If it can do video editing as well, I could go on holiday without my MacBook Pro. I think they have eight megapixel cameras in them. I'm not gonna worry about the cameras right now. Essentially what we need to decide is Surface Pro 4 or Surface Book. We're not even thinking about iPad Pro because it's just not a professional tool. Considering the fact that it only has iOS, sure it has that really cool pencil pen thing, but there's no eraser on the top. Halfway through he's like, yeah, so with Surface Pro we've finally put an eraser on the pen. And that's crazy, isn't it? Because other companies are making pencils that don't have an eraser. A pencil that doesn't have an eraser. You no, know, this guy's kind of hard to listen to at times, but he's actually, it is, this is a pretty good joke. Why is there no eraser on the Apple Pencil? How can you call it a pencil if it doesn't have an eraser? That's silly actually, because there are pencils that don't have erasers. I think that a pencil has that sense of it can be erased. That's why we use a pencil. So why is there no eraser? And every time you want to erase on something, you don't want to have to click on the eraser button. You want to be able to flip it over. That's one of the problems with my Surface Pro too. This bamboo Wacom feel pen, Wacom bamboo feel pen, there's no eraser on here, which is a massive shame. There is a button, but that's not really good enough. Surface Pro 4, Surface Book, which one do you think you're gonna go for? I'm leaning towards the Surface Book, but it looks like Surface Pro 4 is easily gonna be good enough, especially for, you know, just a little bit of light gaming, also doing some creative work. If I can save up the cash, I'm very much considering the Surface Book. It's just like, I want you to have another look at the video. He's just like, yeah, it's just a Surface Book, and then it goes... <laughs> launches out into the sky like, an, like a rocket. Oh my god. So, I mean, this doesn't really tell us much about gaming, unfortunately, because, you know, we still need to see the results of the actual gaming performance. But essentially, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, because the fact that Surface Pro 4 is coming, it has a better keyboard, it's gonna have a better typing experience, it's got a 40% larger trackpad than before, uh, it's a thinner design, it's the same actual physical size uh, dimensions, but it's gonna have a larger screen. Surface Book, which is even more powerful still, it has the GPU, high-speed memory, it has a larger screen, it's 13 and a half inches, detachable GPU, so you can use the power when you need it. Both of those devices will have the same pen that uses that 1000 level, tw 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity. Very impressive stuff, can't wait to see it. Pre-orders begin on October 7th, which is tomorrow, and then uh, it'll be available from October 26th. Can't wait to see how it performs. Um, just that pen, we just gotta see how good that pen is, because if it's not up to scratch, might be back to the Cintiq. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Just wanted to let you all know what happened on the Surface Conference. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this, and I thought, no! Here it comes, oh! It's like the anime, but better! It doesn't say what this is, it just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.